Why are we even having this conversation? The mission's the best helmet on the market. Mike here from Sled Addicts. Just getting ready uh, with some gear for the upcoming 23 season. I'm sure you guys are in the same boat as I am. Probably looking online, buying more crap than what you really need. But uh, for those of you who don't know, I've got a pretty big uh, addiction with helmets. I think I, I featured a video last year where I showcased some of the open face helmets. We've got the oxygens that we've been running. Well, I, I tried to get one last year and it was really tough. So I knew for sure this year I'd get my hands on one. And uh, I'm going to show you guys shortly what uh, I just picked up. I'm super excited about it. Lots of talk online that this is pretty much, you know, what most of the guys are saying is, is the best helmet for trail riding. Um, so let's, uh, let's show you what I picked up. There it is. Brand new in a box. Picked up the uh, CKX Mission. And this is actually the uh, the carbon version. So this is the ultra lightweight one that they make. I literally had one that I came across that I found. Um, pretty excited about it. I've heard a lot about this helmet just in general that the missions are, uh, are really great, great buckets. And uh, yeah, let's do a quick unboxing. We'll show you guys what this one looks like. All right, let's take a look at this thing. Obviously, comes with a nice helmet bag. Got your cords, hook up to the sled. And I can already tell it feels super, super light. Oh wow, this is sweet. So our buddy uh, Rich Outdoors had one and I saw him using it last year on a couple of trips and I thought it was absolutely incredible it's like feather light absolutely super super light helmet really nice design can't wait to kind of learn all about it lots of venting but so far the guys that are running it and kind of all the um, stuff that I've read about online are absolutely loving it so definitely we'll be doing some comparisons this year between this and some of the other helmets like our oxygen that we've got uh, you know absolutely tons of miles on but um, this is, inc I can't believe how light it is. This is incredibly light. Nice opening. Kind of got a bit of a, a breath box in here that I believe is what's used to deflect the air out the side and out the back of the helmet. All right, we'll pull that out. Sun visor, you can flick that down. Which should, oh, I think this actually has to be down to do it. Yeah. It seems pretty easy to use. It's got an adjustable peak too. I know you can got a little bit of adjustment just on the peak up top. So yeah, all in all, absolutely beautiful, beautiful helmet. All right, so I've had some time to uh, play around with this new Mission Carbon Helmet. And as you can see, I've actually swapped over the visor. So I picked up one of the uh, blackout visors for it and I'm gonna give that a try. I've used it on the, uh, on the Spider and Rikers uh, so far so good. Not sure how it's gonna be for, uh, for sledding because typically it's gonna be a little bit darker uh, during the days and obviously for night riding, it could be a challenge. Um, this one is not an electric uh, visor. This is just a regular visor, but I've heard from uh, some buddies that they work pretty well even without um, electric, uh, an electric visor through them for, uh, for fogging. So we'll see how it goes. Well, as you can see, I also took off the peak 
Um, and what's really nice about this helmet is it's actually really easy to, to switch the visors and uh, take off the peak. All you're doing is basically clipping in on both sides. And then you're gonna basically just raise the lid up a little bit further until it unhinges and it comes right off. It's actually quite, uh, quite awesome. There it is. So the visors, you can switch them really, really quickly on the, uh, on the CKX mission, which I really like. So, so far so good. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool lid. It's worked well so far, and we'll see how it works on snow, obviously. A um, couple other things I do like about this. It's got a really easy switch that you basically just clip that up and down for your uh, inside sun visor, which is quite nice as well. As you can see, the way I've set this one up, I've got my uh, Bite Harder light already wired on which is pretty sweet. And so that will clip in when I have an electric visor. Otherwise it's got a nice little uh, wire um, holder so that it's just tucked in out of the way when I'm not using it uh, during the summer. So again, super lightweight helmet. Like this thing honestly weighs nothing. It's, uh, it's pretty fantastic. Oh, by the way, I know some guys were asking about this. Um, just so you know, the Bite Harder light does fit on the carbon. Um, I know there was some concerns about it because there's this uh, logo that sticks out on the back, but it fits perfectly right underneath. Pretty sweet. Uh, you got a neck curtain underneath, just a small one. So um, this one just gives you kind of a little bit of extra warmth. You can take that off as well. It just Velcros on and it's obviously got the adjustable uh, quick click uh, chin strap as well, which is pretty sweet. Um, you know, they say it works well. Again, we get questions a lot from guys who are wearing glasses. Not too sure. You know, it says that these ones are capable just like the oxygens are uh, with glasses. So we'll see how that goes. Um, the one thing I did try already too, and we'll see how it goes for, for, uh, for sledding season was the ventilation. I didn't find that the vent on the front, there's actually two of them. I didn't really find that they do anything. I was hoping to get some more, um, some more air through. I really didn't feel it that much when I was adjusting the vents, but I'm gonna play around with that a little bit more and see, uh, see how it goes. You've got, um, you know, the idea is it flows through the front of the helmet and then out the, these two ports that, uh, that are on the rear of the helmet, which is pretty sweet. But um, I was hoping for a little bit more airflow just by using those, the vents on that shield show you here. There's actually two different vents on here. So you can push that down, open it up. And then this one also opens and closes a bit on the front. So we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I'm going to give that a try and it, hopefully I can get some more airflow. I guess the only other thing I will mention, and let me just see if I can find it. Here it is. So I did take out the breath box on this one and it's really easy to, to pull in and out of the helmet. It's, uh, it's also fully adjustable. So I'm not a huge fan of these, these breath boxes. Now I do know if you're gonna use it, if you're gonna use a regular shield without the uh, electric visor, you're gonna wanna run the breath box. And again, that's just gonna help with deflecting any uh, of your breath out the helmet and prevent fogging. If you're gonna run an electric visor with these, then you absolutely don't need to, uh, from what I understand, you don't need to run uh, the breath box. So again, just kind of a nice option that it's pretty easy to pull in and out. So we'll see how, uh, how that goes. So for now guys, that's the, uh, that's the new Mission CKX carbon fiber helmet. Absolutely stoked to, uh, to run it this year. We'll see how it goes. And uh, obviously, you know, towards the end of the season, we'll give you guys a full review and uh, stay tuned for, uh, for that video as well. If you liked that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel where we release content on everything snowmobiling. Also hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.